Hi everyone, this is Dr. Akash Mangukya and I'm currently in United States doing my clinical rotations. And this video is gonna be about USMLE Step 1 guide. I made USMLE Step 1 video last year, so I thought that I should make another video this year also. And this video is gonna be about the resources and how you can prepare for it and uh, what other things you can keep in mind while preparing for USMLE Step 1 exam. So let's just dive into it. So first of all, we are going to directly talk about the resources that what resources you should use while preparing for USMLE Step 1 exam. As you can see in the screen that you can use First Aid and UWorld as your primary resource because First Aid and UWorld are so necessary to uh, prepare for USMLE Step 1 exam. Uh, if you have covered all the First Aid and if you have covered all the UWorld question, you can definitely do, uh, you can definitely pass USMLE Step 1 exam, okay? It's not that hard, uh, believe me. I was also scared before taking this exam that whether I will pass this exam or not. But if you are just gonna do first aid and U world, you are definitely gonna pass this exam. So this first aid and U world gonna be your primary resource to prepare for your similar step one exam, okay? But if you are feeling that your knowledge is lacking and you don't know much and your questions are keep getting wrong, then you can refer to boards and beyond video in that dr ryan has made every topic very easily for you to understand and this is and this is a really great resource to prepare for usmle step one okay so you can refer to boards and beyond and other than that if you want to revise some of the pathology that you think that your conceptual knowledge is lacking then you can directly go to pathoma and in the pathoma uh, pdf every topic is just straightforward you can just read pathoma for revision okay pathoma is not a primary resource to prepare for but you can revise pathology from pathoma uh, other than that there is sketchy there are sketchy micro and sketchy pharma if you have difficulty to understand uh, concepts of microbiology and pharmacology if you are not remembering the microorganism or drugs you can refer to sketchy uh, micro or pharma i myself prepare microbiology from sketchy micro and that helped me a lot uh, whenever a question comes from microbiology i straightforward go to that picture in my mind and i just solve that question in just 30 seconds or one minute so you can definitely go to sketchy micro or pharma to sharpen up your microbiology and pharmacology concept okay these are all the resources that you have to prepare okay don't go beyond this okay this is all you want to do okay these all the resources are that's it you don't want to go beyond this first aid covers your all the topics so you will covers your all the questions and bmb pathoma and sketchy are your secondary uh, resources okay your primary resource is gonna be your first end in you world only if you do you if you do you world 100 percent you are definitely gonna pass okay so you have gained all the knowledge okay you are studying okay uh, after that comes testing uh, test yourself how how you will how you will test yourself you will test yourself by doing you world self-assessment in you world there are two self assessment you world self assessment 1 and you world self assessment 2 people take this you world self assessment and see themselves that where they are uh, standing okay uh, so you can definitely do you world self uh, self assessment to uh, check your knowledge and other than that you also have to do nbmes okay because nbme people are the one who will prepare your usml equations so you definitely have to do uh, nbme okay so there are free 120 questions in nbme website there are new free 120 there are old free 120 you can refer to all of them uh, from their website and another uh, nbme equations are from 25 to 31 for usml step 1 exam these questions you have to buy from nbme website but i would uh, recommend you to go to telegram and find just nbme uh, 25 you will get all the pdf with answer and without answer also so you will save money by uh, not purchasing uh, nbme questions from the website okay i'm not encouraging this but this is the way around okay so you have to at least get more than 75 or 75 percent in nbme to uh, clear your usmle step one exam okay my score was uh, 65 to 70 percent but i took a chance and i passed so if you don't want to take chance 
get 75% or more than 75% in all NBMEs. Okay, if you are getting less than 75%, just revise your uh, content, revise from uh, revise from first aid, revise your wrong question from you world. That's how you can increase your scores. Okay, so uh, when I took my first NBME, it was uh, it was like 55 to 60 percent. Then I revised my first aid, then it got increased to 65 to 70 percent. So uh, you can definitely uh, you can definitely revise if your score is low. Don't get demotivated that you cannot do this USMLE step one exam, but you just need a good revision okay and your scores are still low then you can just think about pushing that exam back to 10 to 15 days and revise revise those revise the content that you have prepared from okay don't get discouraged or don't get demotivated if you are if your scores are low believe me you can do it you can uh, increase your score by revising after that <clears throat> we are going to discuss is that uh, usmle People, USMLE people just had a meeting about uh, raising the passing standard. So now it is like 198 score to pass USMLE step one exam. But in future, they are maybe doing 200 for uh, passing the USMLE step one exam. Before it was 194, then it got increased to 196 and 198. Now they are going to do 200 same as uh, USMLE step 3 which has 200 marks requirement to pass okay so this is you have to keep in mind that you have to get more than 198 and from January maybe more than 200 uh, in USMLE step 1 to pass okay so now I'm just going to talk about how you should prepare for USMLE step 1 exam okay so let's just take six months that you will take six months to prepare for USMLE step one exam. So in first three months, what you will do is that this is non dedicated period. Okay, this is non dedicated period. So in these three months, you are going to do is you uh, gain the knowledge. Okay, you will gain the knowledge in these three months, you will this is non dedicated period you are still learning you are still learning the question pattern and everything so in this three months you are just gonna gain the knowledge don't think about testing yourself okay because you are gonna get low marks and you will get demotivated or discouraged to uh, take this usml step exam step one exam okay so after three months you start your dedicated period most of the people do their dedicated period for only one month but this is like uh, depends uh, individually so uh, after three months you can push a little more and start uh, start testing yourself start testing yourself okay so first you are gonna do is that take your nbme okay you will start from 25 whichever number you want to start okay but i'm suggesting you to start from 25 because it is a little bit easier okay you start from uh, nbme 25 then you move on to third uh, move on to 31 and you will take this exam every week or every let's say two weeks you will take this exam every two weeks okay in 25 if you get low score then you will more uh, you you are going to more focus on um sharpen that knowledge and you are going to more focus on how i will get more score in two uh, in 26 nbme exam okay so let me just tell you that nbme contains 200 question okay so it is five hour exam so you have to give one day for this five hour exam because you are going to do five hour exam then after doing this exam you are going to revise the questions that you have done wrong and you have done right okay so you are going to revise whole test okay and that way you are going to remember how they ask you the concept okay <clears throat> and then after you do all the nbme when your exam is approaching in the last one month last one month Maybe your NBME are still left, then you will do those NBME and do your self-assessment one and two. Two is a little bit harder. 
okay so don't get discouraged if you get low marks in uh, ul self assessment too okay so in last month you are going to do all this and in last month as well do not get demotivated i have seen people get demotivated in last month and they just give up you will not get demotivated in the last month because you have done all this preparation for 5 months and in the last month you are just going to give up maybe you are just one step away to pass okay so don't get demotivated in the last month you know you have studied you have you have your knowledge you have test yourself you are getting good marks just believe yourself go to exam and just have a blast okay you are going to pass step 1 exam if you are confident enough okay so i'm also going to talk about exam day so your exam starts at 8 am and it will be until 4 pm okay so don't do mistake uh you will have one hour of break and uh, seven hour of exam one hour break you will utilize it well okay don't just uh, push yourself if you cannot do two blocks in a one time like uh, let's say you are going to sit on exam you are going to sit in exam at 8 am from 8 to 9 there is one block from 9 to 10 there is one block so if you are not confident enough that you can do two blocks together don't do it just take a break okay just take a break just freshen up your mind if you are not even feeling to take a break take a break okay believe me this will help you a lot and make sure you use your bathroom break okay don't hold if you hold you will you are going to mess up okay don't hold just go in the break just go if you are not feeling like to go just go okay this is my personal advice just go okay no one going to tell you this but i am telling you this just go to bathroom and do your thing there okay <clears throat> this is my advice for the exam day i'm not going to uh bore you with how to solve the question how to see the question you know it well you have studied you have tested yourself you are going to do well so i'm just going to focus on these things and uh, lastly i just want to say you is that if you have liked this video then please kindly like this video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet subscribe my channel i'm going to post so many videos about my usml journey and i'm going to take you guys with me on my usml journey so subscribe my channel for more future videos and comment down below what you like about it and if you have any questions you can refer to my instagram and you can text me uh in instagram you can direct message me on instagram uh i will uh, answer you as soon as possible as soon as i see your message and uh, you can ask your queries in the comment section as well so i will see you guys in the next one and until then have a blast in preparation